Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's up, Jesse? What would you like to order? Uh, I think I want an Egg McMuffin. Do you make those? I got it. I got one for your boy Steve right oh, here. Oh, damn. Nature. Let's Woo. do it. What's up you guys, uh, welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm right here at Rodeo X Rigs and we're gonna be asking Tacoma owners what they do for a living to afford these trucks. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to stay tuned. Let's get into the video and show you guys. All right, so we got our contestant. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so we wanted to come here and just ask, what do you do for a living to afford this Tacoma? What I do for a living, I do a pharmacy technician at the Veterans Hospital and I have um, like side jobs that I do um, and social media platforms and I actually work for Trucks Accessories Group. So that's going to be Snug Top, Lear, Canopy, Bed Slide and so forth. So I have several different uh, income, especially to afford this truck in yeah. California overall. <laughs> Can you take care of me? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Hop on my lap. Are there any regrets that you've put on your truck? Not necessarily, but one thing I do regret is I wish I learned more of what kind of build I want. And I wish I just went full long travel for my necessities. As far as uh, people that still don't have a Tacoma, what's something you would recommend them before they actually purchase one? Uh, one thing I recommend is realizing what you want your Tacoma for. So if you want to overland, if you want it as a pre-runner, um, if you just kind of want to go off-roading time to time, because that's where you realize if you want a two-wheel drive or a four by four, or if you just want to keep it stock and have it look nice, you get the TRD Pro. Uh, so that's where you can kind of decide on what route you want to go. Exactly, if you want to go cheap or expensive. I know you have gone off-road, especially lately, a lot more. Uh, what's like a trail that you would recommend to somebody out there? Uh, uh, someone local, I would definitely recommend Santiago. That's where I actually um, grew up off-roading locally, and we've taken stock forerunners, stock Tacomas, first gen, second gens, and no one had an issue. And back then, when I was off-roading back in 2016 with a group of buddies, we didn't even air down and just went up and down and, <laughs> and enjoyed enjoyed the, <laughs> the whole process. And we didn't even know airing down was a thing at the time because we we're all kids. That's one trail I definitely recommend. Uh, for something that's easy and if you're not lifted, bigger tires and such forth. What are some wise words you can give someone out there, whether they have a Tacoma already or whether they're trying to buy one? I'd say just kind of trust the process and just enjoy the build. Everything that you put on, you're gonna love and eventually you're gonna regress some things. Um, yep. It's all part of the process. It's <laughs> always keeping the back of your head and never stops. All right, you guys, so of course I had to stop right here with my good friend Jason, better known as CB Built on Instagram. So I did want to ask you, what do you do for a living to own something badass like this I'm um, telling something badass like this <laughs> basically um, I work on everybody's badasses truck <laughs> for somebody that doesn't own a Tacoma just yet what kind of advice can you give them before they actually purchase one make sure you get the right model you want um, I have a lot of customers they end up with the TRD Sport exactly they wish they had the off-road the exactly. main difference really is the locker and the differential mm -hmm. is a lot stronger on the off-road so if you have any plan to build it it's the same price from the dealer you might as well get the off-road that would be my advice first number one and get a four-wheel drive Nothing wrong with two-wheel drive, but if you're building it, you're probably going to want to exactly. take it out. Yeah, Yeah, because I think two-wheel drive is going to be more for like pre-running and desert. Yeah, stuff like unless that, you're right? building a pre-runner. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But That's most the of these guys, way. they just want to go camping and they don't want to get stuck out there on their exactly. own. Exactly. Yeah. So you need that 4x4 tier D off-road. Yep, that's that the best model for your value. For your Tacoma, it's fully, fully built. What are like some advice that you can give these people as far as first mods? What, sh what should they go with? Um, as far as first mods go, if you plan on building it out this far, I would say do the gears okay um, you know exactly yeah, what I mean 100%. but I did it I did it the opposite way too I built the entire truck and then realized that it drove like crap yep and then did that the gears like in the turtle. tune but <laughs> basically my advice for you if you're building your truck is get your overall picture so you can do it once because this truck's been through a lot like four different suspension <laughs> yeah. setups like it's been through way too yep. much now it's finally where I want it exactly but if I would have just gone straight to the get-go and figured it out the first time then it would have been better and, so. and I'm there with you I think yeah. I'm on my fourth one yeah. as well and I think it's probably gonna be in the, being the fifth, the fifth. Once, so I go once you travel. do the long, yep, the, so, you'll love the long travel because yeah. that was. I, if I was to do it again, I would go straight to the long. Travel. Yeah. What about tires? What's like something they should do as far as tires? Uh, most people are doing these days. Honestly, the 35s are the new. So just jump 33. right into it. So if 35s. you feel like you're gonna want to get there, I have a lot of customers. They come, we lift their truck. Oh, I want a 275 because I don't want to do exactly. the body mount shop. Understandable. I did yep. the same thing. Yeah. So we do that, and then they go. You know, it's a little too small, right? Yeah. So they Way go 285, 295, and then somewhere down the line. Mm -hmm. they 
end up at a 315. Exactly. So if, and, but then they're doing all this extra work to get there. Extra body mount work, chop, but then tires. they do a body mount relocate. Mm -hmm. So just go straight to the body mount exactly. relocate if you think you're going to get there. But. And those are the stages that I only yeah. see. That There's too, so many trucks tires. that we've worked on and we've done. Like, yeah, it's, we've it worked sucks. on three times for the same job. <laughs> exactly. But, you know. So as yeah. far as, uh, like, for somebody out there that's brand new, say they have their Tacoma already and they just yeah. built it. Yep. Uh, and now they want to get out there. What's like a Southern California trail that you can kind of recommend them that you would honestly enjoy doing? Um, right now, since Big Bear is closed, um, all you really got is Santiago Peak. Yep. You can go out to Wrightwood. There's some trails out there. Joshua Tree is cool. Exactly. Um, there's only really a couple trails out there, though. And yeah. unless you know where you're going, you're not going to find them. It, yeah, you're going to get so lost. So find and come <laughs> to an event like this, find, you know, friends and go out with your friends and you'll have a much better time than going out by yourself. Now, um, as far as like me and you, I mean, we both kind of did a lot of trial and errors on our yep. truck. What are some wise words when the, someone gets a brand new Tacoma? How should they start it? Should they go from point A to point Z right from the get-go or should they take it slow? Um, it really depends what you uh, what you want and what you need. Um, a lot of people come to the shop and they go, well, what do I need? <laughs> and I go, well, what do you want? Because exactly. you don't really need <laughs> any of things, it. Yeah. yeah, so I go, well, what do you, what do you want? Uh -huh. You know, it's what are you gonna use to your enjoyment? Exactly. Because most of the time you're probably gonna be driving your truck to work Daily. or around <laughs> and you don't want all this stuff. Like I exactly. built mine with pretty much no extra stuff on it because yeah. I don't like having all that stuff on there when I'm just Too driving heavy. around because <laughs> realistically now that we're so busy, I'm camping maybe once every two months. Same here, so, so don't feel bad. Yeah. So if you go wheeling with your buddies, yep. put all the stuff on then and then have it be able to be removed easily easily, yeah. unless yeah. you have another, you know, another daily. Exactly. But yeah, so basically build your truck for what you need or mm -hmm. what you want depending on your budget and how you're going to use it. And that's another thing. I mean, budget means a lot. Overall, budget means a lot, yeah. off-road community, I mean, you yeah. could get some Amazon, eBay stuff Stuff on there and yep. it might not look the best it you might could work spend, it might not yeah you could spend two grand or you could spend 200 grand yeah, exactly. if you really wanted to because we built some pretty badass trucks yep. but you could probably buy like four from the dealer here uh, for that money. for that one truck that's built <laughs> exactly yeah, so so do you want to leave these people with some wise words before we take off here um, pretty much just get out there and have fun and use your truck um, sadly there's a lot that we've done for people and then they sell it before they even use it exactly so if you use your truck you'll appreciate it more then you'll find out what you really need so that's exactly. what I would do, yeah. Make sure you enjoy that truck. Enjoy the truck. Let's get to the next person. Of course, I had to stop with my good friend, Jerry, better known as Beast Fab. So I'm gonna ask you a set of questions just for brand new Tacoma owners or somebody that wants to buy a Tacoma. So first off, for the people that don't know you, uh, what do you do for a living to actually afford this badass Tacoma behind us? Okay, well, as <laughs> probably you guys know, you guys are working full time in the fabrication welding business. <laughs> for those of you guys that already have watched my videos, you guys probably already know who he is. What he does for a living you guys have probably been helped by him as well on your own rig yeah so yeah. i do appreciate everybody that does stop by and say what's up to him i do Thank appreciate you. everybody that has brought their business to him and all that stuff so next question something for a new tacoma owner uh, what kind of advice would you give them before they actually purchase their tacoma let's put together what kind of like off-roading i would say you're trying to do definitely that will be one of the first steps you know kind of uh, think about the think purchase about before before. The purchase before, yeah. if you actually are into like SUVs such as like Four Runners or the Rav Four, the, the Rav Four, like stay you know, behind the camera, behind the camera, <laughs> yeah. Or actually, you're into the trucks, right? But exactly. I was into the trucks, you know. Once you get to have, you know, another member, so like this one right here, so <laughs> the the space are getting compact, so exactly. you might need a Tundra instead of instead Tacoma. Of What's yeah. one of the biggest regrets that you have on your Tacoma that you can kind of tell these people? No regrets. Uh, just a little change is gonna be like now the space besides that when we were just me and my wife you know the camping and exactly. the rig it was perfect but right now trying to put all all of the uh, all the baby stuff, baby and stuff. Everything. i mean so far color setup uh, the tram trd 454 off-road and all that definitely you know i don't regret it what's probably their first mod they should go with so if you're actually getting to build into the off-road and you're actually thinking of taking it out definitely it's gonna be suspension yeah. overall and then after that body armor yeah i mean <laughs> uh, not because we're into that but to protect your investment even yeah. on the street i would say on it's the good. street yeah you get in the car crash that yeah. armor that beast armor. fab armor yeah, exactly <laughs> right yeah <laughs> yeah protect you for sure yeah. and then another thing so say they have a tacoma right now and yeah. they're outfitted and all that stuff what's probably a trail you would recommend them maybe a trail that you love or a trail you would recommend these people out there <laughs> i would recommend the places to go yeah you know which okay. is gonna be San Marino national forest which is just right here yeah widespread, the a widespread. Of, you can do a bunch of different things there you can do crawling yeah. 
yeah. you can do just uh, aesthetic trails, exactly. you can do, you know, a little bit of everything. Should they start off slow and invest okay. into it slowly, or right off the bat, brand new, go okay. ahead and build it out? What do you All think? All right, yeah, that's a good question right there. I always tell, you know, all of our customers, you want your bill to start uh, slow and secure, mm -hmm. you know, with the decisions. You yeah. don't want to be back and forth with, we we'll see a lot of guys, you know, like going on, on <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Me? No, no, you, yeah, but I uh, mean, like, yeah. back and forth, yeah. you know, um, you know, think think twice, yeah. you know, before you pull the trigger on something. I think that was so. my problem. I didn't know where I was going with it. Okay. So I went mall crawler, overland, and now rock crawler, and now yeah. we're probably going to go back to the camping. The I don't camping, know. camping, to the overlanding, so, and all yeah. that. So we'll see what happens in the future for, of course, me and you. Exactly. We're not going to let them know just yet. Yeah, just yet. But we'll yet. see in the future. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of things so. are cooking, so, I mean, keep posted. Heck yeah. yeah. If you guys do want to check out my good friend jerry and keep in mind this is my friend outside of all this truck oh, yeah, stuff definitely is. so he's yeah. a really awesome person overall behind the business behind everything he's just a great genuine guy make Appreciate sure to check him out all his information is always in every single video i'll make sure to link it down in the description box below whether you guys need any fabrication work whether you guys need installs anything like that you guys have probably seen him in so many videos yep. so let's keep going and get to the next person all right you guys so i stopped right here with my good friend cody we're going to be asking him a couple set of questions let's go ahead and start off cody uh, what do you do for a living? So I'm the owner of Aspire Auto Accessories. Of course. Right here. And you want to kind of let us know what that is exactly? Yeah, so I am, uh, we manufacture the Bright Box. Uh, we're, we make a lot of wiring harnesses and we just kind of sell other people's products as well. So um, kind of one-stop shop, try to be. Heck yeah. And it, a lot of you guys have been asking me about my grill. This is who I got it from. So make sure to check him out. His info is going to be in the description box below. One thing I did want to ask, and I'm sure other people do have, have that question as well is um, anybody that doesn't have a Tacoma would you still recommend it yeah absolutely I think that Tacoma is probably one of the better choices you could go with for a truck um, for many reasons I just think uh, looks um, reliability um, and there's just so much you could do to it which makes it fun especially okay. that adventure part right I, oh yes <laughs> to be able to take it out and it's just the right right fit right size everything it's perfect it's perfect heck yeah and I know your Tacoma's pretty built uh, so so one question I did have is, do you regret anything you've done to it so far? Um, no, actually, I'm pretty happy with everything I've done to the build so far. Everything has kind of come out the way I like. Just kind of, now I just, I'm like, what's next? You and, know? Yeah. That's <laughs> so. always the question everybody has. You're never going to be finished. Right. It's just an ongoing thing. That being said, do you have any regrets on it? Maybe get a better bumper. I just uh, lost it the other day, so it'd be yep. nice to have something that is a little bit more stronger. So exactly. that's what I regret. Ar Armor is always a good yes. way to go regardless yes what do you love about your Tacoma so I love the the color the sim the simplicity of it I like uh, keep it simple um, <laughs> and uh, I think it looks good um, yeah. so I just love the color um, the black and white you know look that I'm going for and yeah it looks pretty good I got the black and white interior so kind of I like that look so I, I'm pretty happy yeah. with it <laughs> and anything you would recommend as far as uh, so I know you've taken this out on a couple of trails any yes. trails you guys you would recommend Recommend to these people? Uh, definitely. So I would say um, check out Cleghorn. Cleghorn's a really fun trail. Can be yeah. easy. It can be definitely challenging too, depending on what, you know which route you take. Um, and Calico is really cool too. So I think that's a really cool spot to check out. Heck um, yeah, in, in Southern California. You're gonna have to take me there because I've never been. Oh, you're gonna <laughs> love it, man. You're gonna love it. What are some wise words you can give to everybody out there that maybe doesn't have a Tacoma yet? Okay. Um, I would say. Get, you know, if you get a four by four, that's what I would say. <laughs> so if you if you need a hold off, get a four by four. Save that's the money for it and just Save the money go all for the way. Go, yeah. Exactly. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know I used to have a two wheel drive as well. If you guys do want to check him out, his information is going to be in the description box below. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Feel free to subscribe